real, real Prime Minister True. will seek to take any advantage of any little loophole in the law or any nuance in the Constitution. A real, real Prime Minister will always seek to find out what is the will of the people. Because our democracy is based on the will of the people. And when you go to the polls and like the government, you go with the expectation that that government is going to serve for five years at the most. And after five years or before, that it will come back to you and act for a mandate so that it can govern on the basis of the will of the people. And I'm going to say that I am in a position to share a perspective that nobody else in this crowd can. All, every Prime Minister of this country since independence has governed this country and exercised his sole discretion to call elections without seeking to take any advantage of any loophole in the law. But guided only by the principle that whenever it is necessary, let me find what is the will of the people. Barney, you never heard of a government staying in office for more than five years under Errol Barr. Tom Adams did it. Call election in good time so that the will of the people could be discerned. Bernard St. John did it. Erskine Sandiford did it. And I did it three times too. And, and you know, the last occasion, if I had wanted to take advantage of so called loopholes in the law, we were elected in May 2003. Parliament would have been convened in, I think, June, and we could have said that the election be held in September. But I felt that the country was facing changed circumstances. Thank you. And you remember that from these platforms in 2003, I spoke to this country in these terms. Storm clouds are on the way. I may have to do things different from the mandate that I saw. Trust me with your future. Give me a new mandate. We could have gone down to September or October. But a real, real Prime Minister will seek the will and govern by the will of the people. And, and you know, there's a little matter about this that has not yet been put in the public domain, but I won't discuss it. After 1999, a person became a member of parliament and qualified for return benefits when on the date that parliament was first convened. When Erskine Sandiford called the election in 1994, he changed the law. So he left Democratic Party members short of the eight years to get a pension. And what did we do? We said that becoming a member of parliament only when parliament is convened is a matter that rests on the discretion of a prime minister who calls the parliament. But what about the will of the people? The will of the people is expressed on election day as we change the law such that your parliamentary term begins when the election week are returned the day after the election. And the point they want to make, and it's not changing the constitution, that everybody who is serving in this House of Assembly became a member of Parliament on the 16th of January 2008. And we, and we are now all them into the sixth year of a five-year term. And it is as ridiculous as that. 
And, and perhaps. And, and perhaps. You should change it back. Me, me. Put it down to. This is Frendel's nature. Because in addition to his many other, other disabilities, and they are profound. The one thing of which you can say about Frendel is that Frendel, for a decision maker, fails because he does not know how to make decisions. He doesn't. But let us tonight agree that we are going to grant him the right to operate within the context of the loopholes of the law. To grant the members of the Democratic Labour Party who are serving in Parliament the right to go into the six years of a five-year term. But let us ask the question that you, the people of Barbados, must ask. What purpose yes, yes. is intended to be served that can positively affect the well-being of the people of Barbados by having a government led by a ten-part despot? What purpose is being intended to be served by having a government not come back to you and ask for mandate, but us holding on to office and power in, in a way that no previous government of Barbados and I, I'm sure that I'm saying no government in the Caribbean has ever done. Is it about using the next few months to make the economy better? Well, is it about using because when they to give him a chance where they go down to make? Is, is it about using the time to do the things that need to be done to put things right in the lives of many Barbarians who need a government of inertia to become an awakened sleeping dead and at, at long last. Is, is this what is motivating the Democratic Labour Party? Is, is it that they want to hold on just to make things better for you? Because if that answer was yes, then we could tell Frandell, you know, it's perhaps not just a bad thing that you want to hold on to power at all costs. But what is happening to this country's economy? And what will happen to this country's economy if we don't have an election soon that leads to a change of government and a change of policies? And so then they come with a simple message, first of all. We need Brandel to have an election, not because we are hungry for power, but because of course this country is in the most calamitous state that it has ever been. And I, I, I mean, need to have an election, to have a change of policies to make things better and give you, the people of Barbados, yes. the confidence of a better tomorrow. Yes. And, and you ask me, why do I say that? The late world recently, the late world recently published the Central Bank Economic Report. It showed that in 2012, our economy grew by 0, 0 percent. It showed that 
tourism declining. In addition to getting sickness in the wrong places, the eyesight is bad too. It showed that tourism declined. Six percent. It showed that agriculture declined. It showed that manufacturing declined. It showed that construction declined. It showed that more Barbadians now are unable to repay loans at the bank and that 12% of total loans in the banks are now non-performing as compared to 11% you are right. you are right. this year, the year before. No, 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 that is bad enough. But what the light world should have told the public and what becomes the central issue in this campaign but have the Democratic Labour Party done to our economy over five years? And what will happen to our economy if they are given another term?